Hi, there's so much that could be said, so much to reflect on. I'll probably just read my script. I'll keep as I was preparing to uh, do the video, I started thinking all the things I could say or, or um, might be, you know, good things to say. But look, it's great, it's great you're here um, participating in the service. Wonderful, celebrate Dad's life. So look, I'll just read my script. So look, our dad titled his memoirs, A Tale of HWD and RMD in four cities, three towns and 21 abodes. He finished these memoirs in 2014, so we can add another abode, the Waratah. He was fond of number coincidences, so he might like this one. 22 abodes in seven significant locations. Now, 22 to 7 is one of the approximations of pi. Life does have a circular aspect to it, so he'd enjoy that. One of Dad's great interests was theosophy, which likes the idea of a spiral, the thought that consciousness can evolve, as well as biology. 22 divided by 7 is slightly larger than pi, so there's a nice little analogy of the circle having a little bit left over to make a spiral. Combining music and mystical things, Dad gave lectures on Pythagoras. The spiral's a significant feature here as well. The most important musical interval in Pythagorean theory is the perfect fifth. Everybody sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, or if that's too archaic for you, just go straight to the opening thing of Star Wars. You'll get it. Now, if you stack lots of perfect fifths on top of each other, 12 of them exceed 7 octaves by a little bit. There's a nice spiral for you. Gotta love Pythagoras. Now look, there's some, more, some wonderful eulogies about Dad's musical life already out and about. The uh, Auckland Youth Symphonic Band, to do with his conducting and band building days. We're paying featuring his composing days. You can find them both online and it's beautiful that David Adlam's representing AYSB here today. I remember these activities and endeavours with great fondness. Music at home, learning music from mum's mum, learning music from dad. Much more could be said. Indeed, so much of my musical life, way of approaching and thinking about music stems from my work with dad. I also remember most fondly the family time like the silliness around the dining table, throwing wet cloths at each other, and the oft-used refrain of let us spray, instead of saying grace, as the uh, water from the pre-consumed vegetable would splash our eyes, or spectacles, or both, whatever we had. The puns were momentous, and as much as they were a gift that kept giving. In his memoirs, Dad recounts a story. At one of the school's morning assemblies, it was my duty to introduce a talented pupil to play a violin solo. I'd looked up information about the composer, Titini. Not only was he a brilliant violinist and a composer, but he was educated for the church, for the law and for the army, and as well was a champion fencer. Apparently nothing foiled him. Go ahead, groan, I can hear you, even a day in advance. Look, this is what we had to put up with day after day. Look, I also recall being taught to ride a bike, chopping coconuts, going to the beach, family holidays. For all that mum did most of the home stuff, dad had work, University study, playing trumpet in the orchestra, founding bands and conducting them, composing some music, students at home, so on. There was plenty of time at home with us and our grandparents, his mum, mum's mum and dad. I won't say much more about the spiritual things as we're fortunate to have a representative from the Theosophical Society here today. I'll finish with this. Dad and Mum became interested in such matters in the 50s and Dad had an astrology chart made. One of the things the author mentioned was, the chart is a good one, 
very emotional, musical and educational, could develop along higher lines or spiritual activity. Guess the author got a few things right.